All right. So I want to finish up uh, if we can. I want to get the aether currents. So I'm going to wait on doing this quest since I believe that's going to take us back to the surface. And instead, I'm going to go around and get the last three overworld aether currents, which are. OK, so there's one here. One over here. And one over here. So I'm going to try and get those if I can. I think I can. The question is, so how do I get over here? I have to take this way over, which means I probably want to head over to there. Which means I'm going to teleport over here first. And if I'm teleporting over here first, that means I'm going to go ahead and do all four of these quests first. Starting with the two in the Keratorium. I wonder if these are going to be like the Aethercurrent quests in Garlemald and Radzit Han, where the first one gives you an Aethercurrent and then the, but then there's a subsequent story that you can do afterwards. Anyway, let's talk to Yawning Wei and get this first quest get going. Carrots, it's what's for dinner. Yawning Wei needs help gathering the Keratorium's Loprits for mealtime. Oh, bother. <sighs> there's no sign of any of them and it's almost time to eat. What's the matter? Hmm, you there. If you happen to be heading to the Keratorium, could you let my fellows know it's mealtime? If we don't eat, I can't take my nap. I, I can understand that. My thanks. <sighs> they should come running at the mention of carrots of happiness. So just say th those three magic words and they'll be on their way. All right, let's head to the corners of the Keratorium and tell them that lunch is ready. This is about the kind of quest, this is about the kind of uh, task I expected to be doing in the Keratorium. Or you gotta climb these stupid steps again. If you're hungry, why aren't you heading over for lunch? Hungry Loprit. Take the square root of the roots and you get... The chat wouldn't say, say that... Carrot of happiness, that's right. how you spell that. I mean, I, I missed a space. What did I spell wrong? I forgot an S, didn't I? Yep. There we go. Carrots of happiness, you say? My, is it that time already? I was working projections for optimal carrot production based on the total population of theories to ensure that... Oh, never mind. I must make haste, or I'll miss out on my on seconds. Okay. Let's, let's head over and get the up the other two. Okay, let's see this one over here. Yeah, peckish loprit. Oh my whiskers! A visitor from Ethereus. What do I do? What do I say? And have you brought any snacks? What's he say? Carrot of happiness. Could that mean, yes, it must be time to eat at last. Oh, how I've waited for this moment. There's nothing like a carrot of happiness to fill the void in one's belly and soul. Agreed. Let's head over to the third one. Okay, a drooling though, Prit. Oh, carrot, my carrot, the prize we sought is won. Yeah, well, a carrot of happiness. What? What? They're serving carrots of happiness today? The deep, luscious orange, that tempting, slender silhouette. Wait for me, my darlings. I'm coming for you. Okay. Let's hope they're actually going to eat them. I don't really want to imagine. Never mind. Ready for food, yawning way. Now you can take your nap. Ah, you've returned. <sighs> and everyone else is accounted for. Sustenance is essential for Loperts, though I suppose people are the same. 
In any case, we expended a lot of effort in raising a whole variety of carrots. Carrots of happiness are a new cultivar that are particu particularly hmm, comforting, though. Hmm? It seems almost silly to have our workers consume so many carrots just so that we can produce more carrots. But that's a problem that can be solved with even more carrots. No need to worry about the details. I'll work out the figures just as soon as... <sighs> hmm? What were we talking about? Okay, yeah, anyway, maybe you shouldn't be in charge of food supplies. Okay, watching way. Let's see, what do you have to do? True carrot crimes. Watching way has a mystery in want of solving. Excuse me, miss. Have you been, by chance, seen any thieves prowling about the ill-gotten iron carrots? The crimson, tender, surprisingly heavy. The carrot, that is, not the thieves. If you haven't seen him yet, I'm sure you will. You've been told that you adventurers are quite good at solving crimes that no one else can be bothered with. I mean, I guess that's true. Wonderful. I'm relying on you to solve the our carrot caper. Honestly, what manner of fiend would deny a lowbird for their dinner? Ahem. Anyway, our culprits took four carrots in all. Those were not not easy to carry about, so I dare say they can't have gotten far. Well, I don't. I guess we'll go investigate the very obvious circle. If only there was some way to indicate where the, they are. Like on the map. The map that Thangrid can't find. Nope, oh, looks like we got some evidence. Oh god, there's even more evidence. This scrumptious looking iron carrot has been tragically abandoned in its prime. I guess we just gotta follow the trail to carrots. The trail of carrots. Oh, is that our culprit? Excuse me, muttering Loprit. Have you seen carrots? Munch, munch, munch. Go. Hmm? These philosopher's carrots really hit the spot. Just a few more. What? What? No, of course I'm not stealing. These are mine. It is so wrong to enjoy an early dinner. The muttering Loprit stomps off in search of a place to eat in peace. You suspect that this is not your carrot culprit. Okay, well, I guess we gotta look around a bit more. Maybe I'll hit up this. Okay, that's right. Those are philosopher carrots. We're supposed to be following somebody who was looking for iron carrots. Then where are they? So that's an iron carrot. Another iron carrot. That's a philosopher carrot. There's an iron carrot. So, where are they? They're not up there. Ah, oh, there's an iron carrot. Oh, carrot supporter? Blip, blip. Insufficient stock of iron carrots. Carrot, iron carrot detected. Initialine iron carrot procurement. Ah, yes. The wonders of technology. Oh, we found the iron carrots. Let's head on back. Forget who who gave us this task. Watching way. It says they're on the quest description. Okay, so those are the first two quests done. We got two more to go. You're back. Please tell me you found the carrots. The supporter? I never would have suspected. It's supposed to help us farm carrots, not eat them. Hmm. I recall the technician said something about enhancing its code with a love for carrots to increase work efficiency. But to go so far as to steal carrots for itself. I fear it may now love them a little too much. Alas, these poor carrots. But at least we know what became of them and how to prevent this happening again. Thank you for your assistance. Nice, that's two of them. 
go ahead and work on these last two quests. Starting with alluring a log. Oh no, it's gonna be the Alligans again. It's always the Alligans. The Alligan conspiracy. Nothing way. We're all going to die someday. So what if it happens a little sooner? Jeez, nothing way. I mean, I guess you don't care about anything, but still. Talk to the brusque loprit. Alluring a log. The brusque loprit has a mind to do something dangerous and has clearly heard of your proclivity for recklessness. No, 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 that's Alize. I hear you have a pennant for excitement and adventure. Is that correct? Then I assume in your travels you had doubtless heard of tales of the Alligans. Oh boy. Yes, I have. The Alligans, don't get me started. Yes, and nearly everything wrong with the world seems to be their fault. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. I thought as much. I ask because I have planned to survey an elegant relic not far from here. The weapons guarding it, however, make it too dangerous for me to go alone. I trust you see where this is going. So, are you interested in a little adventure? I mean, if it gets me an aether current, sure. Much obliged. Now, let's be off. No time to waste. So, we're, when they say not far from here, they mean out here. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so there's an aether current over here. And over here, I think. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and pick up the other quests. And we'll go ahead and do... I want to see where this one is. Or what this one has to do. Or what do we have to do for this one? That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, Knocking Way. Name that way. Knocking Way would like you to call upon a friend. Hail, person. Yes, you. Do you have a moment? You see, ever since we awoke for inspection, a friend of mine has been acting a little funny. Funnier than usual, even. I can hear him sighing from all the way over here. I would go and call on him, as I do, but he always insists that nothing's wrong. I think he'd be unable to help himself from opening up to you, though. He has always been ever so fond of people. Would you mind lending him an ear or two? Leave it to me. Okay, let's go ahead and work on this one first, because it's in here. Ah, Dreaming Way. What's on your mind, Dreaming Way? Oops. Oh, oh my. You're not a Loprit. Am I dreaming? Is the day finally here? A truly talking to a visitor from a theories? Whatever can I be? Yeah, jeez. Whatever can I help you with, kind madam? What if your friends ask me to check on you? I think I should be asking you this very same question. Uh, how did you know? In any case, I couldn't bother an honored guest with my soothing troubles. Now, hold on. You don't know who you're talking to. If you insist, perhaps I could share a nibble of what's on my mind. Uh, but first, may I ask your name? Brilliant Mason, a truly spectacular name. I'm sure it speaks to your character in one way or another, I guess. I guess it does. Uh, if only I could say the name, same for mine. Perhaps it was a mistake cho to choose Dream from the Tome of Words. For try as they might, I have no such thing. And seeing everyone else live up to their names since our awakening has only made me more aware of it. The people of Ethereus on the other paw seem to dream a good deal. Have you any advice for me? Well, first you gotta close your eyes. Focus on what you love to do. Focus on what you're good at. But, but that's the problem. I have 
meant the foggiest idea of what that would be. Though my fellow lowbirds might, I've done I've known them since well since we were created. So perhaps they need to see something in me that I cannot. With your help, you must be able to find an objectively appropriate dream for me to pursue. You know best what would be of service to mankind, after all. Okay. That's interesting. I'm all ears, so need only tell me once you've come up with something, anything at all. Let's go talk. Let's go around and see if we can find a name for name for dreaming way. So you gotta head right over here, right? Yeah, there we go. Cheerful Lobrit. Hmm. He's no sluggard. I can tell you that. Always happy to lend a paw when there's work to be done. Compared to some of the others, well, let's just say that he's a great help. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to this other person. See if they can give us any more insight. Sounds like they're a very helpful in individual. Wonder if they could be helping way or something. Stern Loprit. You want to know about Dreaming Way? I cannot say I know him terribly well. He's always rushing off to a new on a new task just as soon as he finishes the old one. I've always thought him a good sort though. Hmm, okay. Uh, where's the last person? There we go. Easy going, Loprit. Dreaming way. He can do anything he sets his mind to. He doesn't complain about getting his paws dirty either. That said, I think of anything he's particularly gifted at. Well, that's not great. I mean, he could just be helping way or something. Did they have not of interest this year? Please say they did. I forget what I can't do. I don't know how I was doing the voice for this person before. The more or less what I expected, I suppose. Nice, nice enough, but in no way gifted. <sighs> Perhaps I was never meant to dream. Never too late to dream. Don't worry, we'll find your dream yet. Y you really think so? Goodness, people are truly as kind as they say. In that case, I promise not to give up until we found my dream, even if it is the last thing I do. Huh? That's got grim. Let's exhaust our other options before we go at anything potentially lethal, shall we? Okay. Uh, what's this going to be? Or is this going to lead to... I think... I, well, it's not an Aether current quest, so I'm not going to do it now. But I think that might lead to the tribal quests. Oh, is this going to be... Is this, he going to be the DJ? That'd be pretty funny. Okay, but that's not an Aether current quest, so I'm going to leave it for now. For now, I'm going to go and work on this quest, and then there is an Aether current... There's two Aether currents on this part, I believe. Yes, there is. So let's head on over here and get both of these Aether currents. Uh, hold on. There's one more Aether current over here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get that first. Right? Yeah, there's one to the west there. And it looks like there's just a platform for us to cross here, and then I gotta run around here to get it. I believe it's up here. Yeah, it's right about here. So let's work on that first, if I can. It should be within sight in just a second. Right. It should be like right here. southeast or is it in the crater ah okay that's a little annoying there it is that's a that's pretty well hidden well enough for an aether current okay so there's two more overworld aether currents which are the last ones we need and they're both over on this section where this other Aether Current quest is. So let's head on over there. Okay, there should be one over here. Yep, there it is. Can I just jump up here? 
Yep. Then there's one more to the south. But first I'll go ahead and grab the quest. Or do the quest objective. Brusque You're a bit close to those enemies, sir. I know you told me to come along with you, but you kind of ran ahead. The crash site is just ahead. If you find anything that may be proved useful, it'd be, I'd be grateful if you could retrieve it for me. Do I have to do everything around here? Oh yeah, that's totally Alligan. Let's see, I guess I'll just run over here and grab it because I believe it's going to be like right here. Oh no, wait, what? Hold on. Yeah, it should be at the end over here actually. Yeah, west. It should be right at the end. Yep, there it is. Put it just out of view there. Okay, let's complete this objective, and then we'll have flying in Mare, whatever this place is. Mare Le Lementorum. Okay, now where's that thing? Okay, there it is. That's our objective. Fascinating Remnant. This bit of elegant technology is certainly fascinating. Fascinating? Fascinating. A shame it's too bulky to carry back. Oh, let's see if we can find something else. Oh, there's something. Systems cube. That might be easier. Might be able to carry that back. This apparatus is offline, but it appears to be transportable. You place it in your ambiguously sized bag. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Wait, where did I get the first elegant relic? Because I couldn't bring back that previous one, or the big one. Fascin another fascinating remnant. I can't carry that. I mean, considering an ARR, we literally fit three bodies inside of our bag. I'd say it is very ambiguously sized. Okay, Brusk Lopert, I got some pretty interesting stuff for you. Uh-oh. There we go. You okay? Phew! A moment longer and that drone would have alerted more. Now, did you find anything of interest? Oh, let me have a look. No, you're right. It must wait until we get back. Well, let's teleport back, and then that should unlock flying for the zone. I think this is prob the this blue quest is probably to unlock the tribal quests. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. Because I know that that's not Nathan's current quest. And the goal right now is just to unlock flying which we should get after we turn in this quest. Safe at last. Now, show me what you found. This... This is an elegant decryption unit. With it, we can read elegant tombstones about history, science, poetry. If we had, it, had any, which we do not, an adventure for another day, I suppose. Nevertheless, I'm deeply excited by the prospect, as I'm sure you can tell. You have my heartfelt got gratitude. That should unlock flying. Nice. See, it's just that easy. I never understand people that say, Oh, I didn't, I have to go back and unlock flying. Just do it while you're doing the quests, man. You get half of it done while you do that, and then just finish it up before you leave the area. Anyway, let's get back to the actual story. Let's see, I, did I talk to everyone already? I don't think I did. A chance to spot, yeah, we talked to that. Yeah, we talk, I think we talked to everyone and then we were going to talk to Yishtola. So let's go ahead and talk to Yishtola and head back to the head back to Aetheris. Returning home. Your excursion on the moon concluded Ishtola is keen to return to Aetheris and the Charlians so that she can rub some stuff in her in their face. 
With the Lobrids in Urianji's capable hands, we needn't worry about affairs here in our absence. Knowing now that the face of their earthly collaborators, there is much to discuss with Althanod and the others. Yeah, we should probably talk to them first. Let us return to the Tower of Babel. Our battle with the star will soon begin in earnest, and we must be prepared. Yep, let's head on back. Let's head back to the world. Earthly realm. Looks like everyone's gone already. I, w I wouldn't expect them to have waited. I'd forgotten how, how cold it was in Garlemald. Testament to the Lobert's ingenuity, and I felt no discomfort on the moon. Gods, I can scarcely believe we went to the moon and back. <laughs> Understandable. But we'll have time to reflect on that later. Right now, we need to head back to Camp Broken Glass and deliver a thoroughly detailed report to Lucia. I'd like very much to know how everyone is getting on here as well. It only just begun to treat the tempered prisoners when we left. I share your curiosity, but warning our allies of the final days is of far greater importance. I speak not only of the contingent, of course. The heads of state and every nation must know that what we have learned. We know not when or where or in what manner the final days will begin to manifest, and so we must see that everyone is prepared. Agreed. We may wish to stress the importance of discretion, lest the public be sent into a panic. Not that anyone in position of responsibility should need to hold, be told as much, but it bears repeating. Anyway, first things first, the camp of broken glass. Yeah, you guys can walk, I'll teleport over there. Finally back to Garlemald. But let's head to camp broken glass and tell everyone about that the world's gonna end. Nothing new there, right? Just another world-ending calamity. I mean, we, we stopped the world from ending multiple times now. We should be able to do it again. Right? Talk to Maxima first. Brilliant! At last, you've returned. It's good to see you all again. No worse for your lunar adventure, I hope. We've done what we can for now, and believe me, we intend to tell you all about it. But before we do, might you tell us what's become of Garlemald in our absence? We succeeded in subduing the tempered inside the Tower of Babel. We took many lives, but combined with those who were already in our custody, the number requiring care has grown exponentially. The inclement conditions here have made it difficult, if not impossible, to treat them all here, and so we have petitioned the aid of allied nations. Some are understandably hesitant to prefer assistance, particularly those that were but recently subject to imperial occupation. That said, Several others have agreed to grant them refuge for treatment. With the assistance of our fellow Scions, we endeavor to see them safely transported and subsequently cured of their tempering. Will all the tempered be relocated? Not all, no. We have sufficient shelter to attend to those whose treatment has begun, and enough healers have volunteered to remain until their patients have recovered. Julius is one of such patient, though he is not yet fit to receive visitors. Truth be told, it was a miracle he and those in his company were not harmed in the chaos. If not for Alphanode and Alizé's timely assistance, I dare say none of them would be with us today. In light of recent developments, have the Alliance leaders come to any decision regarding Garlemald? Given the tremendous ramifications of what has happened here, it will take time to determine what must be done. In the meantime, they intend to work with the Eastern Alliance to keep a close watch over the provinces. We have other news to share. 
Shortly after Anima was defeated, we received reports that each and every tower has vanished. For a mercy, the process was apparently not quite as violent as that experienced in Thavnir. Those who were trapped within them have been rescued and are receiving treatment. To hasten that endeavor, the beast tribes have received instruction on the magics needed to cure tempering. Master Matoya is no doubt thrilled the Mother Porksy affords her so many visitors. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yes, we are grateful for her ongoing efforts, as well as those of our comrades near and far. As for the contingent, several of our members have been granted leave to return to their homeland after the transfer of Tempter has been completed. Lucia and I will remain, along with a small force of, to continue offering aid to those here in Garlemald. The Empire may be no more, but there are yet those who call these lands home. I believe that accounts for recent events here, so, what of the moon and the Telephoroi? So you see there are these rabbits on the moon. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> the final days. Gods, I prayed your victory would mark the end of our troubles. You really thought that that would be the end? We're not even halfway through the story. There is still much we do not know, but the Alliance leaders must be told. Would you be willing to contact them in our stead? Yes, of course. I will send word forthwith. We'll also release your fellow Scions from their present duties, that they may return to Charlian. Your energies are better spent finding a means to avert the coming apocalypse. Speaking of your fellow Scions, you'll be happy to hear that Mistress Kryle, though still on the mend, has been moved to B the Badizian Annex and given into Tatar's care. Well, that sounds good. Thank you. I was looking just forward to seeing them both upon our return. Let us be on our way, then. One last thing, if I may. After years of confrontation with Zodiac, you said Xenos took his leave, and in all likelihood has returned here to Garlemald. I have a mind to dispatch scouts to try and ascertain his whereabouts, but to first wish to ask if you believe there is merit in doing so. I kind of doubt it. He doesn't really have any ties to Garlemald. Garlemald is just a means to, of him to be able, able to fight us or fight strong foes. If they found him, they would li not likely live to tell the tale, that's true. If you're expecting a trail of destruction to follow, you won't find one. Yeah, that's not him. An admirable but futile effort. Yeah, Xenos is probably already gone. Somewhere else. Mayhap, you're right. And I suppose if anyone is to hunt him down, it must be you. Who else could even hope to bring low that monster? See, this guy understands. I forget I entertained the notion. Well, on the subject of Xenos, the 10th Legion has made an official proclamation. They denounce the Crown Prince and condemn his role in the Empire's downfall. His very title has become a source of shame among his former subjects, and its continued use serves only to hinder relations with foreign nations. For this reason, he has been declared as Xenos of Viator Galvis. Outcast and enemy of Garlemald. Again, I don't think he cares. Van Daniel is no more, and now its own people turn against him. It seems he's not, but is bloodless to keep him company, as if anything else had. Better that than an army to see it sated. At any rate, I will not keep you longer. I pray you s safe passage back to Charlian. Oh, let's head on back to Charlian. She let me go and talk to Maxima and Lucia again. Once my countrymen have recovered, it falls to me to tell them what's become of Xenos and the Empire. That's not going to be an easy task. 
I've realized that there is no kindness in withholding the truth, but it will wound them. Your findings will be relayed to the Alliance leaders word for word, and should we spy anything out of the ordinary here in Garlemald, all shall be informed at once. Okay. Now let's head back to Charlian. We're gonna take a... Uh, return to Limsa Lower Decks, then take the boat from there. Let's head into the Annex and talk to... Cryo. Oh, she's up and about. Didn't expect her to be. It's so good to see you, and free from chillablains, I take it? You'll be pleased to know everything's been kept in order since you've been away. I even brought a few useful knickknacks with me from back home. But no sooner had they arrived that I received word of Kryle in poor health. And you to the moon! If you meant to give me a fright, you succeeded. Well, I mean, I don't doubt that. Welcome back, Brillian. We were so terribly worried about you, and I was worried about you, Kryle. Though it is plain I have caused my own fair share of worry, and for that I apologize. Eidolon called to me that, that day when you entered the Tower of Babel. Her pleas were faint but desperate, and I know, knew at once she required a vessel to carry out her will. What came after feels like a dream barely remembered, my body flowing through the life stream toward Garlemald. When I regained consciousness, I was all aches and frostbite. Exhausted of ether, so exhausted in fact, I could only laugh. For it was in that moment I understood Raha's weariness from the Tower of Zot. Would that I could laugh at a time like this, though we prevented Zodiac from being unleashed upon the world, I'm curious to know what else took place on the moon. Yeah. Some not good. Ah, perhaps we should wait for the others to join us before you give your account. Let us reconvene in the main hall once you've arrived. Okay. Let's head into the main hall. And there's probably going to be a final cutscene to wrap up today's stream. Hopefully. Nice if it is. Wait for your comrades to arrive? Yes. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Not at all. We understand you've been quite busy. Will Urianje be joining us? No, he's still on the moon. What? <laughs> the fact that you can say no, he's still on the moon is just funny. Duty keeps him away. I'm afraid. Though Berlin can explain why better than I. I mean, you were there too. The final days, as befell Amorat. And we are to escape via the moon? What are the source and its reflections? I have no intention of standing by while the world falls to ruin. So, how do we stop this? Unfortunately, we have no answer at present. If the celestial current have grown stagnant, as was the case in the time of Amorat, the solution would be to alter the flow of Aether throughout the entirety of the star, which does not sound very easy. The ancients accomplished by summoning Zodiac, sacrificing half the star's population in doing so, but it should go without saying that such a sacrifice was not, cannot, be repeated. Are you sure about that? I'm sure there are a lot of bad people we can sacrifice. Which leaves us with the daunting task of identifying the underlying catalyst for the final days, a feat which even the Amoratians could not accomplish. Unfortunately, we found no clues in Mare La, La Mentorum. There is still much we do not know about the catastrophe itself, let alone what might have caused it. The final days are marked by the corruption of the Amoratians' creation magics, but we command no such power, which invites the question, 
What havoc is in stone for store for us? If we knew that much, maybe we could draw upon some parallel with the events of the past, and thereby form some resemblance of a plan. Perhaps we should start with the forum then. Having worked with the Lobards in secret all this time, there is surely more they can tell us. Forgive the interruption, but I've urgent news. The forum is holding a public assembly in the plaza outside. Some sort of announcement. What is father up to now? There's only one way to find out. Okay, guess we're gonna go see the forum. Or see whatever they're gonna announce. Are they actually gonna announce the final days? Or are they gonna announce the evacuation? I thank you all for gathering here on such short notice. This day we must speak of grave affairs and their implications for the future of Charlian, nay, of this very star. Said affairs concern all citizens. And so we have called for a public assembly. You may have heard rumors of the Talophoroi and the havoc these madmen wreak abroad. That book is the same book that Living Way Under had. Under normal circumstances, we would pay little heed to petty disturbances outside our borders. The final days, however, are another matter altogether. For we dare not ignore these prophetic words of Eld. The end bearers will come, ushering chaos and calamity. The final days descend and devour the very star. I've never heard this prophecy. Is it true? Will all that really happen? Calm yourselves. The time has come to speak of the Forum's most sacred duties. But first... What are they gonna do? They're gonna do something stupid. Give voice to the voiceless. Let oh, okay. Bindings be unbound. No, they're gonna undo their enchantment. By unanimous decree, yeah. I declare the enchantment broken. Because they literally can't speak about it until they undo their enchantment. Master Leveilleur, if you would. Very well. Two hundred and seventy years ago, our forebears began an expedition in the Dravanian hinterlands, in search of a route to access the Ethereal Sea. This much is public knowledge. Their findings, however, would become the Forum's most closely guarded secret. Should they really be announcing this to the public? What those researchers discovered in the hinterlands also, where do we? Oh, there was we not a passage unto the Ethereal Sea but the very heart of our star, and Hydaelyn herself. She spoke to them of a calamity that would extinguish all life, and of a means by which we might be spared. 
the moon. Tis in truth a gargantuan vessel built to serve a sanctuary for her children and deliver them from this doom. Yeah, we know. Much like Nyungkref's hope in ages past, it will bear the people of a world in the throes of death to a new home. Yeah, you're gonna tell us something we don't know? Needless to say, this will be no small undertaking. To facilitate the great work, the Forum has maintained close contact with the servants of Hydaelyn, who presently reside on the moon. Convinced that the foretold end was all but inevitable, we began amassing a wealth of knowledge, not merely for the betterment of our nation, but in preparation for the journey to come. You reveal this to us now? By the gods, how long do we have? While we cannot say with certainty, we believe the hour to be nigh. We received a transmission from the moon suggesting as much not long ago. Which is why we must in earnest begin preparations for the great exodus. For his impressive contributions and the leadership he demonstrated during our withdrawal from Dravania, we have elected Master Leveilleur to oversee this initiative. The thing is, I think that'd be fine, but... I don't really think Fellow he's going to make the right choices. And scholars, my countrymen, we face a threat of unprecedented scale. The thing is, he's probably only going to want to save Charlie. We must Charlie's. challenge the trials before us with composure and conviction if we are to find salvation. Yeah, he's not going to care about the rest of the world. The wisdom of Charlian has ever been a shining beacon in the darkness, and so it shall continue to be. It is our solemn charge to see our heritage preserved for future generations. Yep. yep. For those who will come after, we will brave a new frontier. We will save our knowledge, not the people, our knowledge. The knowledge that made the things that Luke made. Administrative will be relayed to all major institutions ere long. In the meantime, carry on with your duties. With that, I hereby call this assembly to a close. remember what mother told us when we visited home that it wasn't until after we were born that father seemed to lose himself in his work yeah that was the exodus if that great work of his was the evacuation of this star then yes it wasn't for his benefit Would you mind waiting here a moment? I wish to speak with father before we leave. Yeah, let's keep it civil. Yeah, just take your time, man. Thank you. I shan't be long. If it's all the same to you, I have a few choice words to share with father as well. So, come to call us cowards and bid us join your fruitless battle against the inevitable. No, actually, you can go in and do what you're doing. Nay, we do not object to the forum's proposal. On the contrary, yeah. those who wish to flee have every right to do so. But we will fight. is cooperating with your associates on the moon to ensure that all is ready should evacuation be our only recourse. Then whatever your business, I suggest you be brief. Though we cannot boast the boundless wisdom of Charlian, 
We have first-hand knowledge of foreign cultures and have conversed with no small number of peoples. These experiences have taught us fundamental truths that cannot be recorded in any tome nor charted on any map. The beating heart of this planet is its people, many of whom would give anything, even their lives, to protect the lands they love. Many may choose to join you in the end, but what of those unwilling or unable, for whom escape will never be an option? What would you have them do? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, Father. Again. It is indolence. A lose swore. This is why we choose to fight. We'll not ask for your understanding, Father. Only that you don't turn a blind eye to the good we have done. That we can still do. We're not children in need of protection. Hold fast to your principles and let the world burn if it please. But we believe there is still another way. And if there is, we will find it. You see if we don't. Do as you will. Just stay out of our way. <laughs> oh, Hector did a pretty good job on that. The slight emotion, emotional break in his response. Were he not so consumed with self-righteousness, he might tell you how proud he is of you both. Bold words call for bold action, and there'll be no turning to your father should plans go awry. As if I ever would. So long as there are those who wish to stay and fight for this star, we have to do what we can to help them. And if we're to do that, we'll need to be well rested. <laughs> Not like that'll ever happen. And having triumphed over what we once thought to be the source of all evil, I can think of no one in greater need of at least a dozen winks. Only a dozen? Shall we then? To the Annex. To prepare for tomorrow. Well, let's finish off this last little bit and then that'll be the end of the stream. Let's see, over there, Beldozine Annex? Yes. Let's head on over there. Kyle tells me the forum made a rather monumentous announcement, so there is to be a great exodus, is there? I'm reminded of my narrow escape from the Isle of Vol. The realization, the running, the mixture of relief and regret after, why me? I asked myself, why me? Why us? Why now? Why wonder? There's no use fretting over the cosmic morality or that thereof. We're here and we'll get through this together, and who knows? Maybe luck will rub off and grant everyone a narrow escape. There's no harm in praying as for as much. Oh, but enough of my rambling. I'm sure you're exhausted. Your chamber awaits. Yep, return to the chamber. And I'm sure there's gonna be another cutscene. Cause we never get to go to our chamber in peace. So who's going to interrupt us this time? A visitor has come knocking at your door. Who is it? Okay, who am I gonna do? Astinian's gonna be pretty boring. I kinda want- oh man, so the rest of them are decent. 
Yeah, let's go with Alpha Node. Let's disable text advance. Ah, uh, oh, okay. I hope I didn't wake you. Now I want to go through and watch all of them, but we're not going to do that tonight. I pray today. you forgive the unannounced visit, but I wish to speak with you before retiring for the night. About Garlemald, and the time we spent with the people of Tertium. Dangerous though it was, I'm glad we had the opportunity to treat with Eulis and Quintus. I was worried what might happen after we were collared. If they attempted to restrain you too. If they succeeded. Once more, I put you in harm's way. And for that, I must apologize. Come on, Alpha Node. You're the one that was in danger. Or rather, I should thank you. For trusting in me time and time again. After all our journeys together, I dare say I've used every expression imaginable to convey to you my gratitude. Nevertheless, I hope these words of mine still carry some small weight. Tomorrow, our fight continues. Mayhap it would have been better to seek you out after we have true cause for celebration. But having mustered the courage to stand up to Father, and achieve a personal victory of sorts. I wanted to carry on in that spirit before my nerves got the better of me. The hour grows late, and you doubtless tire of my ramblings. I have a letter for Orenvold to finish, but we'll be off to bed shortly. Sleep well. Now what? Short while earlier in the Alamegan Quarter. That's the dancer and red mage uh, job tutors. Thank the gods that tower is gone. The sight of it was enough to make me sick. Thank the Ilsebar contingent, more like. Word is, they fought their way into Garlemald and toppled the bloody thing themselves. Not just the one, neither. All the towers have up and vanished. Aye, I heard the same. Commander Aldin and his troops helped keep casualties to a minimum, too. But is it true? They brought back tempered Galleon soldiers. As Commander Aldin tells it, they've a treatment for that now. But don't you worry. Cured or not, they've no plans to bring them into the city proper. This is interesting. I see. Well, that's a relief then. We're gonna have a pretty big barrier to get over. I know we've brothers and sisters among the lot, but I can't say I'm eager to welcome them home. That's Julius, isn't it? Wanted to think about it for a while yet. But to be looked after in Alagana for the time being. Uh, yep. He should probably... What? Huh? Meanwhile, in Ishgard... That's, uh, I know that's an NPC we've seen before. Maybe not in the story. I think he was part of the El Toe quest line. Ah, oh, and that's the, oh, there's Sid. Sid and Riel. Another day, another commission of paramount importance. And one of the gleaners. 
The the one that we met. Oh. What have we here? Uh oh. He looks tempered. Hmm. Hey. Are you all right? Uh oh. Was that? No. The shadows play tricks. Nothing more. No, no, no. I think you're right. The towers are gone. And the Garlean threat is abated. And yet, why does it feel as though it's about to get much, much worse? Did you really have to say that? Come on, dude. We're supposed to be getting some rest. Up, oh, time for the world to burn. And starting with, looks like it's starting with Thavnir.